Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how you can port a Minecraft Bedrock Edition world over to Java Edition. And this is going to allow you to play any world, keep it exactly the same, and then play that exact same world on Java. Um, and it's actually really simple. Anyways, we're going to be porting this world right over here. You can take a quick look at it. Everything is going to stay exactly the same. So these biomes are the locations of the trees of the sand, um, even those wolves there as well as the ruined nether portal um, and the village over there are all going to stay exactly the same. Um, anyways, there are one or two things you need to look, look for though, and that is that if you go into here, um, any things like resource packs and behavior packs or mods, stuff like that that you have active those are probably not also going to be available for the other version of Minecraft, so you will need to watch out for that. Um, if you, for example, have like 10 different behavior packs enabled in this world, and you've modded it completely, then you're not going to be able to port those mods um, to Java Edition. Well, you can port the mods as well, but that's really difficult. Um, I don't know how to do that. You can try. But, oh well, I'm just going to show you how you can port the world. Alrighty, so next you want to just head out of Minecraft and onto your browser, whatever browser you want to use. Um, and then you're going to want to go to a link in the description, which is going to take you to archive.org. Um, and right here, we have MCC Tool Chest PE. Um, and this is a really useful tool, and it is um, going to help us. It, it, it can do a lot of things, but it can also port your worlds. So here over uh, here on um, on the right, we've got the download options. Um, anyways, you can choose any of these you you, you want. Um, I definitely recommend the zip one. Um, as you can see, it has 32.9 million downloads, so you don't need to worry about it being a scam or something. Except for the fact that I apparently have no internet. Anyways, it's downloading now, as you can see in the bottom left. Over here, I've also got my downloads folder, and here we have the MCC Toolchest PE setup. Um, dot zip, and we can just drag that right over here. Once you've got it there, you can um, open it up for a second, and then we can just make it a bit smaller. There we go. As you can see, there should be three things in here. This top one is the most important. You can drag that, and then you're just going to want to copy it um, to wherever you feel like copying it, or to wherever you feel like doing this. There we go. It's being copied. Um, and now you can just double click on this, pop up. So it's going to be extracting it all, and then you're going to get this screen right over here. Um, you can just click on next right over there. Here it's going to be where it's going to install it in. Um, you can just keep the default location. If you want to change it, that's also fine. So you can click on next, and then here you can click on install. Um, anyways, as you can see, it's done now. It was really, really fast. Um, and then you can just click on finish, and that's fine. Anyways, here it is, MCC Tool Chest PE. Right over there should have the chest icon, and it should appear on your desktop. Otherwise, if it doesn't, you can go over to search, um, and then you should be able to find it through there as well. Anyways, um, the installer, as well as the zip file, can just get deleted um, if, if you want to. You can always keep them around, but you won't need them anymore. If you've got MCC Toolchest PE, you can just click on this. It's just going to prompt you to join their Discord server, um, which you can. That's absolutely fine. Anyways, um, right in here, it's going to look a little bit blank, but don't worry about that. What you're going to want to do is go over to Tools up here. You're going to see four options. You can go over to Tools. And then we want to convert. So we can use the top one and go to the Convert tool. If you guys want, I'll make a more in-depth tutorial talking about all of these and stuff like that. 
that's pretty cool. Um, if you want that, then let me know in the comments. Anyways, we want to convert, and we want to convert a bedrock world to Java. So we can just click on to Java over here. Now it's going to open up your saves folder. In here are all of the worlds that you have in Minecraft right now. Um, this is the world which I showed you guys at the beginning, my Bedrock Edition world. Um, we can just click on this one. There we go. And then this is going to pop up and there's going to be a few things. So um, let's cover these one by one. So convert dimension. We've got overworld, nether, and the end. Um, in this case, I haven't even been to the nether in this world. Um, so that's fine, I don't need to tick that, but if you want to convert stuff like the nether and the end, then you can do so, or if you don't want to convert the overworld, but you do want to convert the nether and the end, then feel free to do that as well. Um, if you don't need to convert the nether, I don't recommend doing it, or the end, because it will take quite a lot of time. Um, then we have the include, so entities, um, if you tick this, you will keep stuff like minecarts, um, any wolves or dogs you had, all the sheep that were roaming around your world, um, the zombies in the caves, everything um, like that will 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 um will go with it and block entities these are just going to be the block entities exact same as the entities these will also just get ported um if you don't mind then just th don't tick those cuz then it'll go a lot faster anyways um so what you are going to want to convert it into an empty world an empty dimension or an occupied dimension. I don't recommend the occupied dimension because then it's going to go all weird. Um, anyways, you can just tick empty dimension if you have um, only one dimension ticked, like overworld. I recommend converting it into an empty world if you have all of these ticked. Anyways, we're only going to port the overworld, so we're going to keep this on empty dimension and not tick those two. Anyways, then the convert offset. So, um, if you know a little bit about Minecraft coordinates, you'll know that the middle of the world is 0, 0, etc. And the coordinates get bigger as um, the farther you go out from 0, 0. Um, well, here you can just shift the coordinates. Um, so, let's say your base is at 100, 100 in the coordinates. Um, and you want it to be inside the spawn chunks. Then you can move this by 100, um, X region offset and then Z region offset also 100, and then 100, 100 will become 0, 0. Um, so you can just like shift the middle of the world and stuff like that. It's definitely not necessary, so if, if it confuses you or you don't know, then that is absolutely fine. Um, anyway, so um, MTC Tool just PE is slightly outdated. So here we can see convert to format 1.14, 1.13, or 1.12. Um, 1.19, 1.20, 1.18, as you can see all those things aren't there. Depending on what version you want to port it to, you can select 1.12, 13, or 14. If you want to um, convert it to 1.19, then I recommend converting it to 1.14 and then just loading it up in 1.19 and everything should work just fine. Anyways, as for the conversion type, you can do it quickly or slowly. Um, fast, do that if you have a pretty good laptop or PC. It'll just go a bit faster um, and that's fine. Um, if you have a pretty, if you have like a potato PC, a uh, pretty crappy laptop, I recommend using the safe mode. It'll take a bit longer, but um, it definitely won't crash that way or anything like that. Um, so uh, that's fine. The update over here, level.dat, you definitely want to keep uh, that one ticked, otherwise your world will probably not work. And then chunk status, you are just going to want to keep that at full if you want to actually convert the world. Alright, so once you've done all that, you can click on convert and then it's almost always going to say um, the attempt to download Java conversion assets has failed. 
Um, you can just click on OK, that's a bug. Um, anyways, the conversion was completed. Now, I did it with a completely new world in which I had barely done anything, so mine went really fast. Yours might take a bit longer. Anyways, now the conversion is completed, we can just launch Minecraft Java, and the world should be right there. There we go, I've launched Minecraft Java. As you can see, I've just launched it in 1.19.3, which at this time um, is the newest version. Anyways, as you can see at the top over here, we've got the My Bedrock Edition world, which is now Java Edition. Um, as you can see in the bottom, it says that the version is 1.14.4, but um, we can just head in and it should just automatically sort of update you know to 1.19.3 it shouldn't be a huge issue at all so we can just wait for this for a second there we go it's been loaded um there oh we seem to be in survival let's change our game mode to creative Anyways, um, that was that. We just spawned underground there because it had to update the world to 1.19, which meant installing, like, you know, all the stuff underground and things like that. Anyways, um, the world was successfully converted. If you have any questions, make sure to leave those down in the comment section below. Anyways, for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.